Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I would like to continue my previous video entitled Framework Agreement on Integrated Cross-Border Maritime Law Enforcement Operations between the Government of Canada and the Government of the United States of America. Each party shall make the best effort to ensure the cooperation of designated cross-border maritime law enforcement officers with any investigation, inquest, or hearing that relates to an internal investigation or is held by the civilian oversight body into the exercise of enforcement powers by such officers subject to the right and privilege their law enforcement officers from the from the country in which the investigations or proceeding takes place would be able to assert in the same situation and subject to the right and privilege that country would be able to assert in the same situation upon request each party shall make the best effort to provide all unclassified documents and other unclassified information relating to a designated cross-border maritime law enforcement operation that is the subject of an investigation, inquest, or hearing that relates to an internal investigation or is held by a civilian oversight body. The participating agency that employs a, a designated cross-border maritime law enforcement officer shall be solely responsible for the professional review of and discipline procedures for its participating officers. If a participating agency undertakes any professional review and discipline procedure arising from the cross-border maritime law enforcement activity, then the central authority shall ensure that any result from such a procedure are communicated to the other central authority. A party may decline to cooperate under, pro under paragraph 3 and 4 of this article only where such cooperation would be contrary to and inconsistent with its public policy substantive national interest, domestic law and regulations, or interference with an ongoing investigation or prosecution. Before denying or postponing cooperation, the party through its central authority shall promptly inform the, par the other party of the reason for considering denial or postpone and consult with the other party to determine whether assistance may be given subject to such term and conditions as the party whose cooperation is at issue deems necessary. Article 12 Firearms, Ammunition, and Other Standard Law Enforcement Weapons While engaging an integrated cross-border maritime law enforcement Operation in shared waterways, a designated cross-border maritime law enforcement officers may carry firearms, ammunition, and other standard law enforcement weapons jointly approved by the central authorities for Canada and the United States. Article 13. Use of Force the designated cross-border maritime law enforcement officers shall use force only in stitch in stretch accordance with the applicable laws and policies of the host country where the use of force occurs. In all cases, only force that is reasonably necessary under the, under the circumstances shall be used. Article 14 Information sharing. Subject to their domestic laws, the parties shall assist each other in the course of integrated cross border maritime law enforcement operations and may, for the purpose, share such information as may be necessary. For the purpose of Article 14, further sharing means. 
the subsequent of share information by the receiving participating agency with among others a non-participating government agency or a foreign country appropriate written arrangement shall be executed by the participating agencies regarding issues by use for the sharing and correction of share information and regarding issue of storage and destruction of recorded share information in accordance with the domestic laws of the parties unless required by its domestic laws or otherwise permitted by an arrangement executed pursuant to, pet, to paragraph 3 of this article a participating agency shall not use or further share information share pursuant to this article for purposes other than Canada, United States Integrated Cross-Border Law Enforcement Operation without the consent of the participating agency sharing the information. If a participating agency use a share information use or share information shared pursuant to this article according to its domestic laws it shall subject to ex second circumstances provide notice to the sharing participating agency prior to such use or sharing in case of ex second circumstances the participating agency using or sharing the information shall provide not this to the sharing participating agency as soon as reasonable possible. Designated cross-border maritime law enforcement officers shall collect information in stitch accordance with the law of the house country. A participating agency shall not use or further share information collected exclusively in other in the other parties territory or waters by its officers for purpose other than United States Canada integrated cross-border law enforcement operation without the consent of the party in whose territory or waters the information was collected unless the users the, the use or for the sharing is required by its domestic laws in which case the participating agency shall subject to exigent circumstances provide notice to the party in whose territory or waters the information was collected prior to such use or sharing in case of exigent circumstances the participating agency uses or sharing the information shall provide notice to the party in whose territory or waters the information was collected as soon as reasonable possible. Nothing in this paragraph is intended to inhibit the party in whose territory or waters the information was collected from sharing such information with the other party pursuant to paragraph 1 of the article of this article or any other existing arrangement available to the parties for the sharing of information notwithstanding paragraph 3 4 and 5 the participating agency sharing the information or in whose territory or waters the information was collected may in a particular instance place additional restriction on the use sharing and further sharing of this information subject to its domestic laws the participating agency which receive or collected the information may accept and comply with any such restriction or decline to receive or collect the information so the time is up and the article will be continued to read on the next part so don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye